celestial sphere. As we move away from the Earth into space, the Sun, the Moon, the stars, and other celestial bodies can be imagined to be points on a sphere which envelops the Earth and rotates about it. Now, if we project the Earth's poles and equator out onto this imaginary sphere, it will provide a reference for celestial measurement. Position of any celestial body is expressed in terms of right ascension and declination, equivalent to longitude and latitude on the surface of the Earth. Celestial Poles If we extend the Earth's axis, it will intersect the celestial sphere at two points called celestial poles. Celestial Meridian The celestial meridian is the great circle on the celestial sphere that passes through the celestial poles. Equinoctial The equinoctial is the projection of the Earth's equator on the celestial sphere, which divides the northern and southern hemispheres and serves as the zero mark for declination. Declination Circle Declination Circle is a small circle on the celestial sphere parallel to the equinoctial. It is a projection of parallel of latitude from the surface of the Earth to the celestial sphere. It is also the path of a body along with the celestial sphere, as the Earth rotates on its axis. Declination Declination is the arc of celestial meridian of a body, or the angle at the center of the celestial sphere, contained between the equinoctial and the declination circle of the body, measured north or south of the equinoctial. Polar distance Polar distance, or PD, is the arc of celestial meridian of a body, or the angle at the center of the celestial sphere, contained between the declination circle of the body and celestial pole. It can be expressed as PD equals 90 degrees plus or minus declination. GHA Greenwich Hour Angle, or GHA, is the arc of equinoctial, or the angle at the center of the celestial sphere, or the angle at the celestial pole, contained between the celestial meridian of Greenwich and the celestial meridian of a body, measured westwards from the celestial meridian of Greenwich. Zenith Zenith is the point directly overhead of the observer. If a line is drawn from the center of the Earth through the observer and extended, it will cut the celestial sphere at its zenith. Nadir Nadir is the point on the celestial sphere that is diametrically opposite the zenith. LHA Local hour angle, or LHA, is the arc of equinoctial, or the angle at the center or the celestial sphere, or the angle at the celestial pole, contained between the celestial meridian of the observer and the celestial meridian of a body, measured westwards from the celestial meridian of observer. Ecliptic If we extend the plane of the Earth's orbit to the celestial sphere to form a great circle, we get the ecliptic. This is the apparent annual path of the Sun around the Earth. Just as the Earth's axis is tilted by 23.4 degrees, the ecliptic is also inclined by the same amount to the equinoctial. This angle is known as the obliquity of the ecliptic. The ecliptic intersects the equinoctial at equinoxes. Equinox The vernal equinox, or spring equinox, is when the sun reaches its ascending node, where it crosses the equator and moves northward. This takes place on or around the 21st of March. The autumnal equinox is when the sun reaches its descending node, which occurs on or around the 22nd of September, and marks the start of autumn. These are the two days of the year on which everywhere on Earth, day and night are of equal duration. The first point of Aries. The vernal equinox is also called the first point of Aries. As it is difficult to tabulate the GHA of all the stars in the almanac, we use the first point of Aries. This point is tabulated in the almanac as GHA Aries, and the positions of all the stars are measured relative to this point. Right Ascension Right Ascension, or RA, is the arc of equinoctial, or the angle at the center of the celestial sphere, 
or the angle at the celestial pole, contained between the celestial meridian of the first point of Aries, or Gamma, and the celestial meridian of a body, measured eastwards from the celestial meridian of the first point of Aries. It is usually expressed by converting the angle in degrees and minutes to time in hours and minutes. RA plus SHA equals 360 degrees. SHA Sidereal hour angle, or SHA, is the arc of equinoctial, or the angle at the center of the celestial sphere, or the angle at the celestial pole, contained between the celestial meridian of the first point of Aries, or Gamma, and the celestial meridian of a body, measured westwards from the celestial meridian of the first point of Aries. SHA plus RA equals 360 degrees.